Obama administration is looking to shake up the food at daycare. The Agriculture Department is releasing a new proposal to require daycare centers to serve more fruits and veggies and cut back on that sugar and fat. But will we ever convince kids to try out tofu? Joining me with her take is Karen Gramont. She's the founder of an organization called First Bites that supports healthy eating habits for young children. Karen, thanks very much for being here. Thanks for having me. So first I want to get your reaction to this proposal from the Obama administration. Does this kind of move us in the right direction? Oh, absolutely. I think this is a great step uh, for all the children across the country. But I think with equal energy and enthusiasm, we need to start teaching and training and supporting our teachers and our families and giving them skills and tools so they can encourage children to eat all this healthy food. Now, I feel like when we're talking about daycares, these really young kids, you know, two to five year olds, it's kind of hard to imagine that kids are already overweight at that age, but how important is it to try to build these habits early? Well, you know, the truth is the, the younger kids gain weight, the harder it is for them to lose it. But more important than that, those early years that you're talking about, the two to five year old age, that's really when their taste buds and their preferences are being formed. So the sooner we can get them eating fruits and vegetables, eating a real diet, we're really setting them up for a foundation of healthy eating. Karen, we've already seen the Obama administration change the rules on school lunches. And one of the ramifications of that was kids weren't eating them as much. They didn't like the food. They were throwing things away. It was just harder to get them to eat whole grains, fruits and veggies, that kind of thing. I imagine that struggle is going to happen when you're talking about these little kids as well. So how do you win that battle? Well, look, obviously having healthy food there is absolutely the first step. But as any parent or teacher can attest, just sticking a piece of broccoli in front of a child does not mean they're going to eat it. So the idea is to really kind of flip it on its head. What we need to do is we need to start thinking about healthy eating as a life skill that we need to be teaching our children. And teachers and, and families are really on the front line of this. And just like we teach our children to read, we really need to teach them how to eat healthy. We need to have patience, we need to give them some time. Remember that it takes 10 to 15 tries to try to like something new. Um, and we really need to think of it as a skill that we work on daily and we support them and help them develop over time. So ultimately, it's fun, they enjoy eating healthy food, and they're happy to do it. So Karen, any tips for making this a fun experience? Because I can just imagine both the teachers at daycare, but also parents when they come home, they've had a long day, they sit the food down, their kids won't eat it, it ends up in a huge screaming fight. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. Look, the first thing is we need to remember that, that eating is supposed to be fun and social, and let's go back to that. So the first thing I would always say is get rid of this idea of rewarding children with dessert for eating healthy food. Don't do that. Um, the next thing is this idea of pressuring children, encouraging them to eat two more bites. Let's stop doing that. Let's really make it fun. Get kids involved, have them help pick recipes, take them to the store. Um, instead of just serving something, put, for example, you mentioned tofu. Put out some tofu. Put out three dips that you know the child will like. Is it, you know, ketchup and hummus? Let the child have fun exploring with things that are safe and familiar and that they like. Um, by adding in something new so they can take the tofu, dip it in the ketchup, ask them to rate it. Is it sweet? Is it sour? Is it crunchy? Really get them involved and make it fun so that it's not work and it's not a power struggle and they feel more invested in it and just be patient. All right, Karen Cremont, really great tips, although I think it's going to take a little bit of time to get kids to start eating tofu, but thanks very much. For <laughs> Thank you.